Hi everyone, I hope you had a good week. Today I'm going to show you a series of photos which have recently become quite viral online and you get to pick whether they are dun, 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 fake or real. Let's go. Who remembers seeing the MGM line at the start of movies? The background to this story is that in order to get the lion to participate, the makers of the iconic intro had to strap a lion onto a machine to make sure it didn't attack anyone. See? I've got proof. So who says this story is true? Who thinks it's false? Well, whoever said this story is false wins. The picture that I just showed you to justify that story, it was photoshopped. It was in fact a lion being diagnosed in a CT scanner in a veterinary hospital. The lion was fine, by the way. Second one. The internet just loves animals, especially if they look weird or cute, or both at the same time. So there's no surprise that this photo of a cat with an adorable moustache and eyebrows would go viral. Real or fake, do you think? Well, unfortunately it's fake. But not all of it. The cat does in fact have that incredible moustache, but the eyebrows are, are a result of clever Photoshop manipulation. Number three now. The next viral sensation we have was the fried rice meme that showed a man making an incredible wave of rice in his pan. Imagine making this much fried rice. He must have had a huge family. What do you think? Real or fake? Well, again, this is fake. This image quickly received a lot of attention online and people from all around the world started to send in their own photoshopped images of the rice wave. Unfortunately, the photo itself is already fake, since the rice wave is a sculpture that's sold in fake food shops in Tokyo. Well, finally, my last one is a picture of the incredible Turtle Mountain. What an incredible picture, and how uncanny is the likeness to the head of a turtle? So uncanny, because it's a fake. This is the real mountain. Still beautiful, but less animal-like. This is Pilot Mountain in North Carolina. Well, why did I show you all of those photos and why did we play real or fake? Well, today we continue in our look at the Book of Acts and we get to the part where some people are telling the Gentiles that Paul had previously visited that in order to follow God, they had to get circumcised and follow the laws of Moses. We find this division in thinking here and Paul travels to Jerusalem to see the other apostles to ensure his teaching and thinking was correct. That you didn't need to be a Jew or convert to Judaism in order to be saved. After all, we had read earlier in the book of Acts that the Holy Spirit was given to the Gentiles after accepting Jesus as their saviour. So we'll be spending time looking at what makes us a true Christian and we'll be doing that at 10.30 with the kids on Zoom and I will see you next week. Bye.